My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. It's a cough drop. I gotta stay away from people. Guess what comes out on Tuesday though, March 5th. That Tomb Raider brand, Tomb Raider come out uh, this Tuesday. And um, I want to talk about Tomb Raider and multiplayer and single player, okay? Um, so, if you brothers and sisters do not know, um, Tomb Raider, you know how they, re they, they released the game for the companies that review it early. So, we've already, so we already have like Tomb Raider reviews out. And you know, GameSpot did their review, IGN, Rev3 Games, and some other uh, game sites. So, they did their review watch IGN's review they pretty much say the game's amazing they give the game a 9.1 out of 10 that's a great score what holds it back from being a 10 well if there was an epitome of a tacked on multiplayer well look no further than Tomb Raider <laughs> like they said the multiplayer for Tomb Raider was just so tacked on and just so bad that they would be shocked if um you know, people are still consistently playing the multiplayer given like freaking a month into the game. And I didn't really have an issue with it. What I did have an issue with is when I seen the top comment like, oh man, I'm trying this game for the multiplayer. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Y'all, y'all need to stop, okay? Cause y'all trying to give a brother high blood pressure over here with all this craziness that y'all be speaking of. Listen, listen, listen. I'm buying Tomb Raider for the multiplayer. I'll say it one more, just, just one more time. I'm buying Tomb Raider for the multiplayer. That only sounds like one man that I know. One man who he will literally tell you straight to your face with a straight face and say, I'm buying Tomb Raider for the multiplayer. I, I, I ain't even gonna say his name because I be throwing too much shots at this guy, but y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Leave it in the comments section below. <laughs> but, you know, uh, Tomb Raider's multiplayer is tacked on. Some people go as far as to say that Tomb Raider is an exact clone of Uncharted, which I think they fail to realize Tomb Raider's been out long before Uncharted was even a thought. Tomb Raider's been doing its thing for quite a while. You know, Tomb Raider has a lot of fans. People love Laura Croft sisters and brothers alike and I already know why the brothers love Laura Croft because of those tits and that bootay <laughs> but you know so Tomb Raider is its own game it's not trying to copy anything yes there are some similarities with this Tomb Raider and Uncharted which I which I think leads to why some people expected the multiplayer for Tomb Raider to at least be up to Uncharted standards you know, Uncharted was one of the few games that was just a single player game at first, then they incorporated the multiplayer and it became somewhat successful. But not all games can do that. Certain games just aren't meant for multiplayer and I don't know, maybe I'm the last of a dying breed. <laughs> like I, I still prefer a great single player as opposed to a great multiplayer. There's only, there's, I can count on one hand, there are only few, very few games that I can honestly tell you, yes, I enjoy the online for that way more than the single player. Halo 2, Halo 3, SOCOM 1, SOCOM 2, Call of Duty 4, <laughs> those are the only games, but the games that you have those memorable moments with, that you hold a special place in your heart, like the Metal Gear Solids, the Jack and Daxters, the Final Fantasies, the Kingdom Hearts, the Ratchet and Clanks, freaking whatever. All those games, you remember them because of how great the single player experience was. And honestly, I feel that they were forced to put multiplayer in Tomb Raider. I don't even think they wanted to put uh, the multiplayer in Tomb Raider. I think they were forced because it, it, it appeals to the mass crowd of gamers that are becoming multiplayer online junkies. It's these days, if you don't have multiplayer, you're considered a game that has no replay value. I guess gamers these days, once they beat a campaign, once they never go back to it, 
I'm still that dude. I'm still playing Metal Gear Solid. Like, if you have a great single player, if you truly have a great single player where the, the characters are great, the story is great, the graphics are great, whatever, the voice acting, people will go back. People will go back. You do. You do not have to have multiplayer to have high replay value. That's false. I don't know where people are getting that from. Yes, online is great, but it is not what makes a game have high replay value. Yes, does a multiplayer add replay value to a game? Yes, it it does. I'm not denying that, but you do not need a multiplayer in your game to have high replay value. If they were to just focus on the single player and just just completely forget about the multiplayer the single player could have been longer it could have been more epic you know they probably could have added more things into it and it would have gotten a 10 the only reason why it got a 9.1 is because the multiplayer was terrible if they didn't have to grade the multiplayer the game would have gotten a 10 because the freaking they said that the same that the single player was great and it could have been even greater if that was their only focus I just, <laughs> I, 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 I be preaching, but y'all don't be listening. I be preaching. Call, call me past the game because I be preaching, but people just don't be listening to it, brother. I'm still buying Tomb Raider. This, this game is still a must-buy game. Some people are actually doubting if they want to buy this game or not. I can't argue with those type of gamers. If you're a, a gamer where if you beat a single player once and you just completely lose interest into it and you'll never play it again, I can't say you're wrong. You know, people just love multiplayer these days, so I can't say you're wrong, but I guess I'm the last of a dying breed, you know. I'm still buying Tomb Raider. This still, game is still a must-buy. I'm buying it for the single player. I'll probably play the multiplayer like a good three times and laugh at it because of how tacked on and terrible it is, but aside from that, once I beat Tomb Raider, I will play it again if the story is that good, you know. Saying that, Tomb Raider, March 5th, are you guys getting it? Not getting it, renting it because the multiplayer is tacked on. Uh, but saying that, uh, Tomb Raider, I will see you March 5th.